the engineers have done such a good job in separating the driver from the bottom that I could drive on these gravel roads all day. It's a brand new patrol though, so I probably shouldn't. When you're in the market for a big, luxury, good-looking SUV, there aren't that many options. Maybe you want a Toyota Land Cruiser, but you're tired of being on that waiting list. Well, this is available right now, and it's the 2022 Nissan Patrol V8. And this particular one over here is going for below list price. Yes, folks, this exact car is for sale at my ride Nissan Paul in Main Road. At the front, it's a very imposing car. You've got this giant Nissan badge over here that lets others know that you're coming. Also, a massive grill, and I kind of like this design over here and those chrome highlights. Of course, you've got cameras in front, and those wheels are 18-inch wheels with giant side profiles, which is perfect for terrain like this. It's got this vent on the side here, which I'm not sure does anything, but it does have a V8 badge over there, which means gives you bragging rights over all other V6s on the market. You've got, of course, keyless entry. There are lots of details on this car, like these LED lights at the back here and these little nooks and crannies to differentiate this car from the others. You've also got a big boot at the back that houses the seventh and sixth seat in there. And of course, it is electrically operated as well. Inside the Patrol, it's unsurprisingly luxurious. Of course, you've got leather and wood absolutely everywhere your hands can reach. And the interior of the year has got a whole bunch of features like heated and cooled seats, in case you want the fan on your butt. You've got two USBs, socket, and most of the controls on the steering wheel. You've got adaptive cruise control. Now, I kind of do like the size of the steering wheel, not as chunky as some other newer models, but in my mind, a pretty decent size. You've got a very decent audio system over here with 360 camera, lots of space, cup holders, and even an ashtray over here as well. You've got various 4x4 modes here that you can use like hill climb, descent, a diff lock for the rear, which helps when you're getting really sticky articulated sections. Of course, you've also got sand, snow, rock, and on-road modes, 4L, 4 high, and auto option over there as well. The interior on the Nissan Patrol is not the updated version, although the car's been updated, this is still the older interior. Having said that, it still holds up pretty well, and I think the big selling point here is the fact that there's a massive saving over this and the equivalent Toyota Land Cruiser. So when hitting the road in this V8, you quickly notice that it's a big, heavy car. Well, it has to be because it's got a lot of seats and it's able to tow up to three and a half tons. This one being the V8 has 298 kilowatts and 560 newton meters. Now, I do like diesel engines, but I also prefer driving a petrol one. And this one's got so much torque that you're not really going to miss the diesel quite as much. The suspension is supremely supple. And I don't mind those large profile tires if it means I get to get a comfortable drive like this. It's got a seven speed gearbox. And if you flick it to the side here, you can go up and down. It doesn't have pedals, but it's the kind of car you generally just leave and drive and enjoy the cruise. With 298 kilowatts performance is adequate, but this car was never meant to be a performance SUV. But thanks to their very complex suspension system at the bottom and self-leveling, it doesn't do too badly around these corners. It's very quiet inside the Nissan Patrol and that's by design. The designers want you to feel like you're cosseted by leather and you can enjoy that trip into the country. So I've just come out of driving a bucky on this very same gravel road and I can't believe how much smoother this car is over here. It does still have a ladder frame chassis, but the engineers have done such a good job in separating the driver from the bottom that I could drive on these gravel roads all day. It's a brand new patrol though, so I probably shouldn't. When navigating sticky situations like this, you've got the 360 camera, and even in little tight spaces like this road over here, making a U-turn, 
and not touching any of these branches is pretty easy even with a gargantuan car like this one now the big question on this car is of course fuel consumption and you're gonna be paying a little bit extra when it comes to fuel if you've got a v8 14.4 liters is the manufacturer's claim and when cruising around you can get that or below it's only when you've got the entire family loaded to the back and a trailer going uphill you're probably going to go a bit more than that or if you do what i've been doing and do this yes oh oh that does sound good wow brakes on the patrol are good too considering there's so much weight but that's again thanks to the trick suspension and safety systems that automatically stop the car and brake it if there is a hazard in front of you. Now that we're heading back into town, what is this car like when driving around the city? Well, very comfortable over speed bumps as you can see and visibility is exceptional because of the boxy shape. You can see everywhere out of the car. Also, big rear view mirrors on either side plus blind spot detection a host of safety features so it's pretty good when you're driving around the city thanks to the 360 camera parking is easy and you've also got a rear view mirror over here that is camera assisted and if you look closely underneath these rear view mirrors on the side you can see the little cameras at the bottom so my time with the nissan patrol is almost over and the big question still remains is this a worthy alternative to the Land Cruiser. I do think because the Land Cruiser has been updated lately, it is still going to pip the patrol in most areas. With a waiting list as big as it is on the new and even the old model, plus the fact that this one costs a lot less and is V8, not V6, maybe it is worthwhile checking out the Nissan Patrol after all. Home to Nissan, Hyundai, Isuzu, Renault, JSC, FAW and multi-franchise branches including the MyBucky brand, My Ride Group is your one-stop shop for all your motoring needs in the Western Cape and Gauteng. Visit myride.co.za to see what they're all about.